Hey, everybody. Uh, so thanks for coming. Uh, the, sorry for the technical difficulties there. Uh, thank you for waiting. Uh, so I'm Zach. I'm one of the original engineers on the Istio project back at Google. These days, I work at a company called Tetrate, helping bring Service Mesh to, to enterprise everywhere. Uh, I also help write the security standards for microservice security for the US federal government. So a couple different hats. Um, so first off, uh, Craig already mentioned, but hey, some exciting news for the conference. Uh, Istio will finally be part of the CNCF very soon, we hope. Uh, we're going through the, the submission process. We have a sponsor, uh, so that's kind of progressing on. We're super, super excited as a community, so that's kind of the first thing. And so it's not, not quite as boring over here as it's been in, in Linkerd land. So one of the things uh, that I kind of want to talk about is something that was kind of core to why we started Tetrate, which is I want the service mesh everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. So obviously, you know, we're focusing on Kubernetes today. It is KubeCon. The service mesh was built there. It's, it's Kubernetes native. And that's where we see a lot of bread and butter usage of the mesh. But that's not the totality of our infrastructure. And in fact, for most of the people that I talk to, the most important applications that they run in their infrastructure isn't even being run on Kubernetes yet. They want it to be, but we're not there, right? Uh, and so for that reason, we think it's really, really important for the service mesh to be able to go back into traditional environments like VMs and bare metal Linux hosts and really just everywhere that we start to run our applications, right? Uh, and we even want to go into kind of new territory where we haven't been traditionally running these kinds of technologies, uh, pushing uh, functionality in the mesh out to the edge, right? Stuff like partnering with ARM to provide ARM builds of Istio and Envoy help enable this. But the big question is why, right? So like, sir, you know, we have ways to do traffic management and security and observability in our traditional infrastructure. We have the service mesh to do it in our modern infrastructure. So why does it really matter if we start to bring the service mesh everywhere, right? Uh, and this is something that I talk about a lot in some of the papers that I help write uh, with the government. And the idea is basically that we want to start to be able to build a platform that provides a consistent security baseline for all of our applications. And the service mesh is an incredibly powerful tool for doing that. And so if we can push the mesh to more places, we can get a more consistent security baseline for our applications in more places. And it becomes easier and more consistent for us to operate our infrastructure safely and securely. So I want to just real quick leave you with a couple of kind of key ideas that I use for thinking about the service mesh. Uh, that kind of bring in the security background, right? So one is this idea that Envoy and the sidecar generally can become this general policy enforcement point. And when I say policy, that can be traffic, that can be rate limiting, that can be security things, right? But the goal is that we have this policy enforcement point everywhere, ubiquitously. With that, the, the service mesh can become our security kernel. This is the kernel from the, the 1970s uh, you know, security literature. That's the kernel that we get the, the operating system kernel from, right? It becomes the modern kernel for our, cloud, for our distributed systems, providing critical runtime security for them. And we want that, again, to be across the entire infrastructure, not only in Kubernetes. And finally, it enables this cross-cutting change. Hopefully, the folks that are here have at least played with some of the, with the mesh some. And you know, one of the most powerful features is the fact that we can go and implement far-ranging changes with simple configuration across the entire infrastructure. And this is key, key, key. And if we do all of that, if we push the service mesh everywhere, if we start to use it as the strong security baseline, as a policy enforcement point, as the security kernel, then you know, I believe the outcome is that we get a more safe, efficient, and reliable infrastructure for us to all operate on. And uh, I think at the end of the day, that's exactly what we want. Now, you know, I think William summed it up very uh, well. Right? We want it to be simple. We want things to be easy to operate and normal. Uh, and I think the service mesh is an incredibly powerful tool to be able to do that. And that's all I got for you today. I didn't do any, uh, I didn't have any karaoke, unlike Mr. Box, uh, but I'm looking forward to his renditions tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, thanks everybody.